Hey y'all, well, welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie Bolts and Nuts, the actual good Banjo game that never existed except it's seen on the TV right now. I thought the, I thought, I thought the game you were refer, referring to was called Banjo 3. Oh, it, yeah. it's it's right here. Sure enough, boy it was. Uh, was 3E meant to be for the GameCube? It, it, it was... I believe so, yeah. Like, I do still remember, it was like a very brief teaser trailer for the game that was going to be signed for, for the GameCube, and I think this happened just before Micro that's uh, Rare was in talks of getting bought, bought out by Microsoft. Because they wanted Donkey Kong. Yeah, but they were still Whoa. in the deals for, like, one or two more Nintendo brand games, like Superman, or, um... Star Fox Banjo Adventures. Crunchy's Revenge. Oh, yeah, the oh, game. Yeah, oh, yeah, the I, But that was more I so, like, like THQ than Rare. I still like Renty's Revenge. It's I mean, okay. It, I barely remember it, though. It's just, it's just, you know, it's just a more condensed Banjo game for the Game Boy. And it's it was a Banjo game. It was, there we go. It was a thing, but yeah, now we, now that um, Mecha has been kind enough to open us open up some new worlds for us. Yep, we can now visit the second world of the game. Don't worry, it's the third one we're all trying to get to, folks. We'll get there in a bit. Um, oh, the we actual fun level? This, we can now visit the second world, which uh, is, again, where this game's, as I put it back in part one with Grab by the Ghoulies, where the game's self-deferential humor gets in. Not the Xbox 360, the Logbox 720. It's just a few multiples higher than your typical 360 console. I, I actually would have loved if he actually... Even 720 is fun, but I actually would have loved if he actually called it the Logbox 361. <laughs> you are now entering a place of sound mind and body. The Logbox, the Logbox 82. Box. Oh, look at him go. Ooh. Help me! We, so, also, I saw that. In, this t in today's TV special, we go inside the console. Starring yeah. Major Glory. <laughs> Major Glory? Starring, starring oh, oh. Helen. Oh, that's the infragable Congo. <laughs> the infragable Corey in the house. And the infragable bottles. Welcome in. to my new series, Glory in the House. Some kind of get. Picklet. Now. And Sherry manager. You mean Whizpig? And Humble Wumba. Is Sweet brave party, gamer. Humble Wumba. I guess. This is totally how girl gamers are. Oh, and it. Jolly Dodger. Jolly Dodger. You no. As the celebrity coding sensation. Hey. Yeah, he doesn't look anything like he does. At the he was supposed to be a shy little like. He's a friendly puts. little frog. Oh hey, look at that. Uh, Banjo Kazooie look. finally got to be on disc. Holy oh, shit! Oh, and what as an as we will live show in. off. If you look closely at the bottom of each of these discs. Wait, it say yeah. something about 2018. You'll see, Banjo Kazooie, Rare 1998. Okay. The Bear and Bird's First Adventure. Will anyone <laughs> ready to feel old? Will anybody remember, remember, remember Nuts and Bolts in a decade? I uh, come back in 2018, 2018 and find and out. Cause this game came out in 2008, which makes me feel old that it's been over a decade. And rare, they remember this game, just not for the reason you wanted. Yeah, that's kind of sad hindsight. Also, apparently we're fighting space invaders here, too. No, those are just the grunty bots again, but just... No, oh, there's a crap, mouse. Just, it, what the hell are you doing? Your mouse. You're breaking the game. <laughs> what if you just hit one of these? And just, just cuts. To, it just cuts back to the Xbox. Screen. Your game has encountered an error and must reset. <laughs> Cause, Kazooie, it's time to, it's time to, to it's time to turn off this, this simulation. Well, at least you're doing some kind of platforming thing. I do like I, I do like this level actually with the even with the racing thing. This level, whereas Nutty Acres was wide and like kind of wide expansive, this level is like a a, a click clock tower. Oh, where, like, hey, it's, it's, Mr. it's Mr. Pants. Mr. Pants for the Xbox. And grabbed by the ghoulies. And but, uh, grabbed by the ghoulies. But yeah, this level is much more vertical. Uh, let's see, uh, a light-hearted haunted house romp. With ninja imps and a DJ mummy. That sounds You'll fucking radical. You'll probably find a copy in good bargain bins everywhere. Jeez. That's not nice. It it was a it was a 3D beat 'em up and was I it a beat em up? It was way too gimmicky to really last. I thought it was like a Luigi's Mansion kind of thing. No, it was definitely a beat 'em up. You had to use items and the boss. There were only two bosses in the game. What? Let's see. And finally, Banjo Tooie. A lengthier. And more oh, complex. Rotate the camera, Mecca. Thank and you. more complex like sequel to Banjo Kazooie that included 
everything, everything and, the and the kitchen, kitchen sink. sink. Did you, Did like, you like it, it more or, or less? less? I liked it. I liked it a little less, but I still liked it all the same. Vote I, again, on our MySpace page for more. <laughs> again, I again I think it works better. Oh, I like this music here. How it like kind of transitions to Grunties a bit. But no, I I I, I still like Tui. I just as I said, I think Tui works better as a Metroidvania than it does a platformer, yeah, like as guy. in like the arcadey collectathon. This guy looks disgusting. And he speaks in okay. and he speaks in oinks. So okay, while Actually, we're talking, shit, this I just realized they took what? this guy as the freaking foundation for those pig knights in the ukulele. You know what? They oh, probably... that's why he's looking for his workers. What were they called? The Hamelot people? The Hamelot yeah, the nice Bubsy yeah. Hamelot. So he was Ew. trying to work on, get his technicians in, but when he actually messed up, uh, the firewall activated. Oh, oh boy, bacon! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we gotta firewall. save this. And we, we gotta, gotta save his uh, their bacon. Yeah, I know, we don't want to get bacon. Um, so. Uh, since it's now probably the seventh time we've brought it up, Icky, I should ask, if Banjo-Kazooie looked like they did in Smash Ultimate, would you probably like this game's art direction more? Like, or would you would you be, like, would you be, like, a little more forgiving of the title as a whole? No, because it, it's really a me thing. It's not like a... Mm -hmm. It's not like a testament to the game's overall quality. I just... You know, it's opinion. In my opinion, That's I just cool. don't like the art style of this game. I think it looks a lot more well, artificial think, compared to Verse 2 what and meant, what's... I think what he know. meant was more so along the lines of if the art style was more in line with how the originals were, but everything else was untouched. Like, you still have the same gameplay, the still struck, the same gameplay, same structure, just the graphically it looked more like the first two games. Like, yeah. Which you still hate it as much. <sighs> Get back That's in. That's really hard. Mama. That's a really we got, hard we got question to be. for Thank me, you. actually. Oh, also, why are we picking up Humble Wumba? Because she's a staff member, and Wait, we have to is? take him in here before the firewall roasts here. them. Icky. I thought we had to save just the pigs. No, no, the pig, the pig was out there, and he was telling us how, while he was out there, he activated the firewall, and that's why. Oh, he and then he to got cooked. Okay. Yeah, he should be the one helping them. Out. All right, but we can uh, let the rest of these weird buggy denizens just wander about. I don't about. want them to fry. Or, you know, they could somehow be immune to the lava or firewall, and they could become fiery versions of themselves. Icky. Hmm? Did you actually play any of the... I'm actually curious, actually, just to start, just to maybe tilt a little bit away from this, is uh, there are other Xbox 360 Rare games that we haven't actually looked at before, and I don't know if we ever will. Uh, did you ever play Cameo? I did not, but I do know about the Mumbo Cameo in that game. Yep. I, I remember well, beating Cameo. Cameo. I, plot. Quote oh, quote. I think you dropped your passenger. Okay. Uh, get back Just in. Just leave him. Mumbo. Ow. He's probably shattered to bits. <laughs> like a Lego figurine. Yeah. Um, whereas, um, I think my biggest complaint with, the with, with Cameo is that the plot gets... The plot just kind of done. It just ends very rapidly and there's no real, like... There are some chances of world building. I like the transformations. It's basically fantasy Ben 10, like straight up whimsical fantasy adventure Ben 10. But I, I could understand why. You mean Dial H general, for I, Hero? I guess now that I think about it, with this and how mixed people were about Sea of Thieves and stuff, like isn't Sea of Thieves still know. going on or? It is, it is, and they're doing, and they're doing well. I, it recently was ported to Steam, and I've been enjoying Sea of Thieves with Mecha Sonic. Actually, now to bring that up, hmm. um, but now I think about like, I almost worry if like Rare almost became like a one-trick pony. That after Banjo did so freaking well, like people just wanted more of it over and over. Uh, oh no, not the interwebby connection. It's hard to really say because like Rare still has a couple of their other games that are that, that are a little worthwhile. I mean. Conquer goes without saying, and Perfect Dark. And Perfect Dark, yeah. It's just a shame that yeah. you know when they try to make sequel to those sequels to those games, they always there was always some sort of um, sacrifice in the mix. It feels like they have mm -hmm. to change it up for the sake of just changing it up. Which like I they can't just make a straight up sequel; they have to make it different. I don't want to make the same game over and over again. I could see where that could get, unfortunately, a little. Repetitive. Uh, also, for this challenge, uh, for this challenge, all you gotta do is just um, deliver an antenna. A, well, yeah, we'll be at, we'll carry the antenna. In particular, we don't have to carry it anywhere specific. Just 
ascend. Elevate yourself up to quote unquote 100 height units and you'll be fine. Okay. So if you have he like a helicopter and you tower. attach it to that thing. Now the helicopter yes. would have worked, but we don't have access to that just yet. Okay. And come I'm back yeah, here they when do you make have you the helicopter some of, some of the uh, more powerful or more, you know, the more variable, varied um, <laughs> vehicles. Yeah, and uh, and it should be said, as you already seen, like you can always come back and un you can always come back and redo these missions with different vehicles and different blueprints to try and you know go for those trophies and all that. I'm I sure admit, it does eventually I wouldn't... come to a point where you know you just have the one combination that just completely wrecks the game a new asshole. Admittedly, I wouldn't <laughs> no, mind I seeing like a full blown racing game with this aesthetic. Like for Banjo Kazooie. Uh, this aesthetic? I mean, CTR has a lot of these futuristic looking levels. Yeah, but it doesn't have like an inside of the computer look like this. I mean, I guess um, Ribbon Road from uh, Mario Kart 8 kind of counts. Micro. I, I remember this one really, really old game on PS2 called Micro Machines. Oh, you mean the toys? Yeah, and, and there was a. They made a racing game about it called Micro Machines. Any using. Oh We're just boy, going another to ball. Yep, that will allow us to unlock the third world that I really wanted to get to. We go That's probably to the one big highlight for anyone that actually bothered to play the game. Unfortunately, we can't actually reach it. Why not? Be uh, because it's all the way over there. So you see that green, see that green slippery ramp over there to the left that leads up. Yeah. Any ramp that looks like that, we can't actually drive up it yet because our tires are just too slippery. It's made of alligator scales. A, we need to get a tire upgrade in order to actually, you know feasibly move up those slippery ramps, which unfortunately means, and that's why Mecha did some things out of order, that's why Mecha quickly jumped to the second world so that Mecha could get uh, some more parts, and in particular, uh, more weapon parts, because we need to actually beat one of the grunty stages to get the wheel upgrade. Kind of, honestly, think of it like uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. Oh, goody. Yeah, fine. Dun, dun, Hi. Dun, 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 what are you doing? I'm letting you all, I'm letting everyone get everything out of your systems. Okay. Fair. We'll Do you think now, now? Okay, gotta be honest, gotta ask. Just, I'm, I'm honestly curious. If they ported this game to Switch for like for what 10 bucks reason? tops, would you get it? Um, out of pure curiosity, maybe? Like, did, like, did the, like so far, has the gameplay seemed like interesting at least? Yeah, I mean, like I said, on its own merits, I don't find it to be particularly offensive. Like I said, I'd, I'd be willing to get it out of pure curiosity, and also, um, this might be a bit of a um, skeptic or, for lack of a more appropriate word, like, pessimistic way of thinking it, but I would also get it just out of the obligation of, if this increases the chances of us getting new Banjo games, then I'll gladly do it. So why can't yeah. we just throttle Grunty over here and just call it a day? <laughs> just run her over and leave. She's literally there. She doesn't have her car. She only has the stupid cat to protect her. Fling the cat. Oh, is that the name of the new Sonic character? No, it's Piddles. No, I was just saying the verb, fling the cat into the sea. Okay. Hmm. But a coconut yeah, that's been growing on the island for over 100 years? I'm s Wait, are they talking about the stage here? Yeah, there's a giant coconut. It's all and artificial! It's not coconut. actual sand! She wants to steal the coconut. Oh, no. It's not, it's not even made out of crystal. It's not even an actual coconut. It's just oh, a so ball. So if gets her hands on that nut, she'll be unstoppable. Actually, I'm really sorry you saying that, James. I'm just thinking, like, Could it be? I have what I wanted. Just a moment. So, I want to savor this moment. <laughs> So, using the egg cannons and some ammo crates, we can have plenty of ammo for the egg cannons and some fuel. Now we're going to basically, uh, he tried this mission earlier, but without a good lot of hardware, it kind of just fell upon just keep ramming Grunty over and over again. But now that we jumped ahead to World 2 to get some better weaponry to come back to this, uh, watch how easy we can, watch how easy we can just tramp and trump all over this. Triumph. Tr stumble and destroy her. Let us trounce this grunt hill. That's grunty. the word I was thinking of. Let us pounce and trounce that vicious swine. And give her egg on her face. Ha ha ha, it's funny. Time we win. Wow. 
You just have to knock the little holder off of her back. Da, 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 I, will, da, da, da. I, I will admit, in some cases with some of these missions, it almost makes them seem it almost makes them seem broken because it's just you know hope the physics engine is nice and just knock it over. But other times they're more. And there we go, the high grip wheels. Oh boy! Hooray. Now we can drive up and go to my favorite level in the game. Weren't we just able to like drive around it? And go up like the no, west not, steep not to hill. The we were going to. How we get up here in the first place? Uh, that was just him showing off the grip wheels. Okay. And for our victory, he gave us a full set of fours so we can use them. Okay. You're a stupid uh, well, computer say, infested like. with mice. I know one thing that was really cool to me about this game with how it works is that you can create, you can actually create machines that transform. Like you could, there go high grip wheels. Go. Uh, like you could like. You could make Easy wheels that can like, geez. you can make wheels that can retract. You can make a, a car that can turn into a plane. Like I remember, some of those trailers looked really impressive to me. I just, again, I you I have guess to I get really in depth them. with the overall creation system to do that. I guess. Yeah, I guess I just wish the mission layout was a little more in like exciting. And you know, didn't require us to go through multiple gates just to go through and find every mission. Again, Why couldn't they just the combine already... every single mission into one world? Yeah, especially because all the missions are already segmented off by dialogue. Just have all the characters and segment the dialogue. Right. But let's go on to my favorite level in the game, which is why I want Mecha to get at least up to this part, which is the only reason why this ended up being a multi-part look at and not just a one part and never touch it and speak of it again. Welcome, welcome to the N64 Memoriam. We're Ooh. going to Banjo Land. Yay! The sappiest place on earth. With okay, real 70s talk, I do like radio this place music. Th this is your nostalgia trip land. Well, Ugh. Sorry, Mr. Fit, as the meet and greeter. Ew. We'll talk to him again. Get that Kazooie Boggy. artwork out hey, of my Boggy. head. The unmotivated janitor. That weirdo. Whoa, hey! That <laughs> and bottles. And again! Die. Who probably hates the fact he that now he has to do. his entire... Oh, he's he's back to being a meanie. Your average game. grunt, again. And Mumbo. And I love the idea... I love the idea that... No, uh, you did always, not. I love the idea of, like, how much... For how much they've picked on us... Okay, so now Ooh, I have... I have so at this like point, I've now cut to Mecha. So it should be said Mecha Sonic has a 100% completion save file. Is that supposed to be, like, the Kazooie Dragon? I think so. Uh, no... Maybe I just know this is a vehicle he built, so I asked him to I also think it's just cool. going around and showing off Banjoland. You can hear right now, like this is a, a great little medley of music that Grant put together. Does it change After your depending writing, on where you, you are? To find a statue in your honor. Oh, post mortem and clips from it. So this, I do think this of all things that this game included, I do appreciate them having a little fun with like remembering the series and stuff. I thought that leftmost painting was oh, like geez. a fucking chicken run promotional poster for a second. Oh, there's yeah. Freeze's E Peak. No, just oh my gosh. If you have, if if nothing else in this game, look up the song. I think it's called Discovering Banjo Land. It is a wonderful little listen to. Uh, probably I, I do probably like it a bit more, but uh Grant Kirkhope's Redux edit of Spiral Mountain for the Smash Ultimate trailer is a very close second. Oh, that, you yeah, know, that, that remix is, is legendary. Let's see, that's so Clip Clock great. Wood. Uh, we have, uh, down here, again, more freezing. A piece of cheese from Cloud uh, Cuckoo Land. Uh, I know there's Rusty Bucket Base somewhere. I think that little diorama we saw on the right was actually a reference to the first trailer they showed for this game. We just saw the hill with the with the notes, the... <laughs> no, that was Treasure Trove Cove. Game, which turned out to just be a model. That was a Treasure Trove Cove poster. Yep, yep. I believe those are Clanker's Jaws up there. Uh, the uh, Dinosaur Land, whatever that was called. Uh, Pterodactyl uh, Land. Pterodactyl. Oh, we have this oh, freaking like thing from Clanker's Cavern returning from hell. This is all that was left of Clanker after after he was decommissioned. Poor guy. No, that's what's left of Clanker after he was decommissioned. Oh, jeez. Oh, At least my teeth don't hurt no more. It looks so oh, angry. Geez, anyways, he has a suit. Oh, Mad Monster Mansion. Yeah, no, Mad Mojo Mansion? The, song I listen to. The, the music in the background. Oh, I thought you said Mad Mojo Mansion, not Mad Monster. Mad Mo no, hey, don't hit Clanker. Clanker's don't hit Clanker, you did nothing to deserve that. Clanker don't appreciate, appreciate. 
Um, Clanker curmudgeonly. Clanker is a friend to all and trauma to most youngins. He's my friend. Oh, what does it say? Oh. Clanker was Ooh. the star of his very own level, Clanker's Cavern in Banjo Kazooie. Getting him here in one piece was difficult, but the many uses of his ramp shaped head made it all worthwhile. <laughs> and he's been like, loving it there. ever since. Oh. I just realized, what are they pumping into him anyway? You see that pipe sticking out. Um, Steam, I guess. Fluids. Oh, look. oh that... I remember these crystals. The crystals from Clever Gulch Mine. Huh. Yep. I, I was thought, and I almost thought you were going to go for the, the Cortex, of course. Oh, and I just realized the... uh, ba uh, Mecha is having Banjo wear his uh, tuxedo. Yeah. All right, have unlockable it. costumes. Yeah, it was the second world. It was apparently, I guess, oh, I didn't know it was originally planned for the first game. Home to Canary, Home to Canary Mary, Mary, whose race controls became button-based when all the analog stick rotation began to scorch palms. Oh, Take that, yeah. Mario Party. That's a jab at Mario Party. God, could you imagine if the Canary Mary races were constant spinning oh, instead of Oh, fuck that buttons? shit. Oh, oh that's God. So awful. Don't even think about it. Oh, look, a model of Cheeto. Hapless page shedding Damn. spellbook, mistreated minion of Grunty and veteran of the Banjo series, returning Cheeto's pages tended to er, tended to earn unlockable items or surprisingly cheat codes. Yeah. Remember when those were a thing? Oh. Rayman Redemption remembers. Is it because thing. people in the twenty first century don't read books anymore? We never will. They, uh, wow, they would have. Uh, wow, I guess they would have turned Cheeto into a tablet if they could have. They would have turned him into uh, a Kindle. Dozing goes called Napper, Ooh. and the organ playing special ham named Mozand. Was it Grunty's Holly Home? Who knows? Uh, hi, what do you think of the visuals and stuff here? Um, I like I like how much of a museum this level is. Yeah, I like the little interactable things, and Ooh. I definitely will say, uh, oh, that's a building <laughs> you can get later to basically summon your vehicle to you. I thought that was just a fancy transition. <laughs> oh, no. That would have been neat, though. Oh, the first easy peak snowman melted. Oh. I guess they couldn't get all and the snow over here. I think, like... Mecha I think Mecha already destroyed this as part of a mission, tank but there was tub. originally a tank top model from Bubble Gloop Swamp. You have to destroy it? I guess a part of a part of a mission, probably. Uh, it's just an effigy, though, as tank tops current whereabouts are unknown. I mean, I he's probably he still in Bubble Gloop Swamp. He hammers feet in, and he just stays there. That's possible. He what died real deep in there. What is this thing? Besides, he has oh, children to take care of. Oh, the UFO that we're standing um, on from Dewey. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Where are the aliens? Peter in Hailfire Peaks is log. We used all the best artwork to get Banjo Tui out on time. Huh. That's probably exactly what why they did it, actually. Huh. <laughs> you know, uh, now I stop and think about it. Isn't it kind of a blessing in disguise that, you know, they decide to halt their plans on literally annihilating the Earth just because we delivered their kids late? Wow. I mean, you know what they say about living long enough to see yourself become the villain. <laughs> the villain? No, oh. he's not the villain. What is Wait, this you thing? still oh, take fall damage? Uh, yeah, I think there was fall damage there. Uh. There was fall damage in all the other games. Anyway, Cactus of Strength. It One was achievement from, uh, that would be. And he's made. And he later showed me that. Oh, Lago. Oh, yeah, what Lago. the hell did they do to him? Banjo couldn't fit down Lago until he became a pumpkin. In Grunty Industries, Kazooie used her beak to unblock him. Now Lago's it's... charms are replicated here in full size. They took this out his eyes. Full size. This is massive. Also, uh, I, I now realize now why Mecha did that. I cut it out just because I thought it was uh, superfluous at the time. But uh, in the dialogue, it says if you ring the bell, it's like what an achievement that would be. Do you it get literally an achievement is an, or an Xbox you... achievement. Oh look. Stop and swap. Oh, oh hey. hey! Ow. So they did oh. make it into the game. They did remember. Oh, sorry, Ooh. penguin. She's all okay. <laughs> Wait, what was, I mean, wait, hold on. What was the name of the uh, the penguin in uh, Walls and Gromit? I don't think it oh, had yet. Yeah. Fucking. I, I, I know it was like a really stupidly funny name. Oh, I do like this one. This is a story of a girl. This shit was far the too basis. challenging for today's soft gamers. Oh. Jeez. Or so, too soft to yeah, laying down that soft hard, aren't we, Rare? Well, especially when pudgy. they already made it easier in the Xbox release by making the note count permanent, thank god. Yeah. yeah. Besides, and did that come time. out before Besides, or after I having bolts? Sorry. That was it. Uh, I'm also googling for... The penguin? Feathers McGraw. Feathers McGraw. Yeah, that, you just ran him over. Now he what can't the steal the. Now he can't uh, make the robotic pants again. Good. No, what uh, did we where just was hit? It? Oh. Boggy's oh. igloo. 
Brought here from Hailfire Peaks. It's lost some stability and the TV has been stolen. Banjo oh. Tooie's pawn shop owner, Pro Pano, sold a similar model soon after Kazooie was spotted in Jolly Jolly's bar. Homewrecker. Kazooie nicked the TV and sold it. <laughs> but... I guess that would explain how she got her Xbox. Oh my gosh, you're right, actually. Also, yeah, Boggy, what are you doing putting this on the landing strip? Oh, hey, Boggy. Home improvement! Home improvement. <sighs> Apparently our igloo is old-fashioned and embarrassing. Jason okay, first of all, who told story? you that? What? Mm. Oh wow! Oh god, the text got a lot bigger now. Yeah, that got very big. Must it must have been it must have been because he uh, edited it or like it must be it must have been a setting he changed. Okay, in you know, hundred percent file. I just realized this is probably the uh, initial si like the size that was that was part of the fix. What we saw earlier was how originally it was. Oh. Which, I mean, this isn't so bad anymore, because we live in a day an era where widescreen TVs are actually common. Oh no, are so we I making think... a GameCube? No, I think what Mecha's doing here He's making is he wants, the, he wants the ultimate irony. He wants to destroy Boggy's house with his own sofa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You will learn the meaning of couch potato. <laughs> this, is what you get for, this is what you get for retiring your sled days, you fat fuck. <laughs> okay, kudos, Mecha Sonic. <laughs> and we're just gonna sit right up there. Then here we go. The pusher. <laughs> I feel like that's not the most appropriate way to write it, but okay. Or the couch pusher. I actually have no idea if that's actually supposed to be the sofa, but it totally looks like it, so we're gonna I think it nudge is. it. So yeah, the mission is just push everything out of the circle. Come here, chubby yeah. checker. Ah. This kind of feels this... like a, re a reverse Katamari. Kind of. It kind of yeah. is. This is what. This is pretty much the. This is pretty much the phys physical manifestation of literally breaking a ha a family. Uh, <laughs> We're a home wrecker. Exactly. Wait, no. This I, is the um the uh, Hansel and Gretel mission from Katamari. Okay. Yeah, they're floating. You have to. So that's why he's gonna improvise a little bit and knock him down that way. Cool. Why don't you knock him down? It's probably gonna just let this thing fly. I know. Maybe maybe we should maybe a flying vehicle would have made this easier. But oh, geez. Ow. But yeah, Man, like, if only we could destroy the like, igloo with another igloo. Games, but the fact that there are button combinations to or bu button presses and prompts that can help write the vehicle and stuff, like I, they they put effort into making this game accessible. I gotta give them that. Yeah. Are those igloo blocks just floating there? Just move them uh, aside. Because they're on the top. Do the they count? I'm working on it. And they're floating there, Icky, because he hasn't. Mecha technically hasn't uh, touched them yet. They will stay frozen until they collide with something, uh, which is why I guess having a flying vehicle or maybe a cannon would probably help to knock him out of the air. But instead, he's gonna just make do with the closest big object he has, which is his couch. <laughs> Come One, to Papa. Three. There's two. No, but that's just kind of stupid. Like it doesn't count if you don't even touch it. What about the it stuff wins. around it? And so there we you have it. it. That mm -hmm. sofa literally tore down a house. And we're almost done. We're gonna do at least we're gonna do at least one more mission before we end off this whole thing. But yeah, while we're watching all this go down, final thoughts for me is again, as we said in the last couple parts, this was not the game people were waiting at the time ten years for. This, agreeing with James, this probably the blow would have been softened had they actually had a Banjo 3E to fall back on on top of this. Right. And suffice to say, people engine. did not go screen. back to like, this game in like, 2018. Uh, oh, hey, we got the, the blubber. The game demanded. Anyways, what were you saying? Oh, by the uh, way, Blubber doesn't speak in burps, and I feel very offended by that. I feel cheated. Yeah. But, uh, what was I about to say? Honestly, the whole thing about, like, again... The whole having a proper Banjo 3 would have. What the heck? Fuck? The airfield terror has returned. Why is he and he's chrome? Made out of chrome? Hey, Mr. Patch. Everything is paint chrome washed in off. Banjo Land. Um, but as they're already saying, he looks a lot less patchy, which means the only way we can actually destroy him is you actually have to try and nudge him into that cactus of strength. So. What? So we're gonna take out our vehicle and edit it a bit. But yeah, uh, I that's, I again, that's my thought. Again, that's my thoughts, that they probably could have softened the blow had there actually been, like, you know, a lot more on top of this. Uh, James, your thoughts? I mean, you more or less summed up some of my thoughts, just the fact that, yeah, it's a decent enough game. It just, it was, it was, pro it was very poorly timed. And, mm -hmm. like, 
But even after the fact, it's all right. But I guess beyond beyond the beyond the timing thing, some of the writing is very uh, the writing is very hidden miss. And you know, oh, oh. got okay, him. I guess we're not gonna need the cactus Oh, it's all. a magnet thing. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drag him into that. Okay, thing. that looks kind of creepy up close. Yeah, with what, his, his eyeballs eyes. And into the cactus. Oh, oh bye bye, Mister Patch. Almost. Hope you like your cactus, Almost. dildo. He Come on, just nudge him. Just, just nudge him a bit just to the left. Just touch it. It, it. it, it's cuddly, like a cactus. There, we got one. <laughs> but anyway, wait, we got that's one. It. That seems a little herky jerk. How many do we bit. need? Uh, oh jeez. Uh, hype. Your thoughts? Uh, what all you guys just said. Yeah, fair enough. And I mean, goes without saying already. Then Icky, your thoughts? Uh, this game is not my type. I it's think a, that's it's about okay. The best way to sum it up. It's okay for the creation aspect, but everything else, no, thank you. It's a little not banjo. It's a little nutty. It's a little boltsy, but not that's... very banjo kazooie. Yeah, there was more that could have been done with it. This looks very herky jerk. It very much is not a kind of boss battle I was expecting. Okay, grab him. Knock him down. Like, is the viewer is Mr. Patch bigger than he should be? Just like, drag him. The dude should have popped by now. Ow. Like, what's taking so Whoa, long? Oh, jeez. Oh, we're Lord trying Lord. to. I don't know if we were supposed to do that. Okay, build the thing again. Okay. Oh. This is close enough. Oh, oh so you could just, like, self reassemble on the fly? Yeah, yeah, you can. Just while you're, you can just if you if you're by the parts, you can press R B and use the magic wrench to drag everything back to you. Okay, that's kind of cool. And oh, I see. It's like a it's like a Legend of Zelda item select thing over there. Yeah, it does. Come so with, come a with me. Spike or, or a magnet. Oh my gosh, just Mecha! I know this boss is weird. Just puncture the dang fool Pop already. Em. So aside Pop from em. Grunty and Mister Patch, there. are there any you other bosses already. that? Uploading to later port. We did it. We deflated that thing just like we deflated our enthusiasm. Yeah. It very quickly, it very quickly felt weird in that last mission there. But oh, jeez, he's oh, deflated. No. He's spontaneously deflating again. That seems a little more yeah. visceral than it was in um, Tui. Yeah, like his his arms like shriveled up for a little bit there, and he's done. Oh, Hooray! Drinks are on me, boys. Honestly, then that's where we're just gonna end it. I, I think we've shown off a good. I think we've. I think we've shown off more from this game than anybody ever expected us to. Uh, shape shift on two. Oh wait, it's over. Oh, shape yeah, it did shift into like a better game. Okay. Please, Microsoft Rare Smash Ultimate should show you the fact that people do like Banjo. It wasn't. I hate it when a company will look at something like Nuts and Bolts and say, "Oh well, guess that sells it." People look. don't want Banjo anymore. It's like no, people don't want that Banjo anymore. Look, Microsoft. Don't be Sonic. Don't be Sega. Don't try and reinvent the wheel when you have something that works. Just right. make a I mean, game. Just make a game that the people want. I mean, hell, the, the creator said it best. We're due for insane style Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Mm hmm. And I would buy it, and I would give that a good look see. So get us a Banjo Rejiggied, or whatever the heck it's going to be called, but. <laughs> yeah. That being said, thank you all so much for tuning in for our thoughts and this little experience at looking at Nuts and Bolts. A huge thank you again to Mechasonic43 for providing the footage for this. Thank you. Because um, Lord knows we wouldn't have played it. <laughs> and, I mean, I would have if I still had an Xbox an expo to really use. I don't even yeah. have an Xbox. But thank you all so much. And uh, for better or for worse, that kind of concludes our look at the Banjo series. Hopefully not forever. But for now, we yeah, will meet again so in another banjo so, time at another banjo yeah. place. Yeah, see you all for when we eventually tackle the non currently non existent banjo renewed. See you on banjo four. Whoa.